Apparently, there's a huge wall of sky ice in Antarctica. He said it was hundreds of miles inland from the coast. I never got to see it myself because I was only, and then I'll have to skip forward, stationed to McMurdo. I didn't get to go out on expeditions. He said it was the biggest natural structure in the world. Imagine that. He said that in the 1960s, the U.S. Army had a plan to bore a tunnel into the wall. But they didn't have a boring machine that could handle the super cold temperatures. So they had a whole testing project in Greenland where they developed ice tunnels and intended, or sorry, and invented new boring machines that could operate in super cold temperatures. So this was back when they were going into forming NASA and all the other things that were kind of strange, the Antarctic Treaty around that time, pretty close to it. And he says, like they did this whole big thing in Greenland for just practice. So it was like they were practicing to bore into the sky ice. I'm not an expert on that, but that's just what he told me. Then once they had the new boring machine figured out, they brought it to the ice wall or to the wall in Antarctica. He said that the machine bored a tunnel I don't remember exactly, like five or 10 miles into the wall, but that they never broke through the other side of the wall and that they still don't know how thick the wall is even to this day. And I'm probably not remembering this part correctly, but I think he said that at first the floor of the tunnel was solid rock, but after a mile or two in, the floor was sky ice, like it was sky ice underneath after a certain point or something like that. And apparently the wall slowly builds itself back up. So it slowly builds itself back up after you cut it because after a year or so, the tunnel had shrunk smaller all by itself, like a self-healing wound. It starts closing up. They had to leave the boring machine inside the wall because the tunnel shrunk too small to get it back out. And after a few decades, the tunnel was completely gone. Like the part of the wall was solid again. He said that now the scientists were trying to use technology to figure out how thick the wall is. He said something about putting earthquake sensors all along the wall and that somehow you could measure the signal from an earthquake to see how thick the wall is. But th but he kind of lost me at the, on that part. I never really thought about any of that after I left. It was really weird stuff, but I didn't think it was a big deal at the time. But then a few weeks ago, I saw a map of the wall in Antarctica except the map was all flat and crazy looking and it showed the wall going all the way up over the whole earth so since then i've been trying to learn more about the sky ice that i saw i've been trying to learn more about the sky ice that i saw and the wall that i heard about but i can't find anything at all so now i'm really wondering if there could be a connection here and that's how i found this group so i hope that maybe some part of my experience will help someone figure something out. Well, thankful to that person, if they were telling the truth, that is some very interesting information given what we know surrounds us. We know that the firmament's not just made out of ice. It's something special that could just be something near the foundation to prevent you from going all the way to it. The Father's design is very complex and he has foreknowledge. He knows what mankind's gonna try to do. Those little nuclear bombs they shot at the firmament was nothing <laughs> to the firmament. They can't break it, they've tried. If they could, they would, but they can't. And this is just one of those stories that confirms a lot of what I had assumed would be going on. I always thought, man, if they are out there and they can go to it, they're probably trying to drill through it, and if they are, how have they not gotten through it already? And that would answer the, the question for you, because it closes up as you go through it. But this was back in the 60s. There's no telling what they're trying now, mostly guarding it. I'm sure that's the biggest job they have, is keeping us from going there. And if you do go there, you can only go to certain places. It is tens of thousands of dollars for a one-way ticket. Otherwise, many of us would have already gone there, and tried to do some sneaking around and investigating. But this video here, it only had like 300 views. But really cool stuff. Wanted to pass this along. I know the days of censorship have it to where you can't find stuff like this anymore. And I remember putting it in my firmament playlist. I just wasn't sure if you guys had heard about this and wanted to pass it along to you. Answers 
some questions that most of you, if you're like me, had about what's going on out there and what are some of the properties near the foundation of the firmament, if they're even close to it. Could go on like that for many, many miles. Who knows? We'll find out soon someday. The firmament itself will roll away like a scroll. But that second day of creation where he put this expanse for signs and for seasons and letting us know that he will return very soon. And it's one of those things that we're sensing is right around the corner due to the way things are going in the world and what they're trying to prepare us for and all the division. But they're preparing for a war. I'll go over that in a little while in another video, what they're preparing for and how you can be prepared yourself to not fall for the deceptions to come. But uh, see you guys around soon. I know that this is a random video and I'm just trying to put this stuff out there and stop procrastinating and share the information that I have while we still...